So we are in Canada. It is 2.14 a.m. This is just pretty much a connecting flight. We leave at 12 p.m. tomorrow to China. So we'll be in China for two weeks and I'm going to vlog. Now, whenever you have a drastic time change like this, you want to make sure that you're changing your sleep routine. So we're going to stay up all night and sleep on the plane. That's the idea so that we don't have any jet lag. And when we get to China, it's like we're waking up and we're starting our day there. Yo, this is going to be rough. So while I'm waiting for my bags, let's, let me tell you what the goal is in China. So we already have some manufacturers in China. We're gonna go visit. We got some products that we're, we've been working on for the last year or so, and we're ready to launch them and we're doing some last minute things. But we're also gonna go there, build new relationships, see new things, get new ideas, and just be inspired and, and uh, meet new manufacturers. We'll try to, to sneak in a little bit of fun in between and show you guys some of the culture here in China. Now I'm traveling with my business partner, Danny, as you guys know, AKA Master Splinter. And you haven't met Leo yet, but Leo is an executive on the project that we're working on. We can't tell you about just yet, but you'll meet him a little bit later on. And uh, I'm pretty much going to daily vlog the entire 13 to 14 days. I'll definitely be paying attention to the comment section a lot. Now, just because I'm not commenting back, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to try my best to comment back to as many people as possible. But if you guys want to see something specific, want to see a little bit more of, of something in China or a little bit more context that I'm not covering, please let me know in the comment. And if you're in the academy, we're definitely going to show you guys a little bit more of an insider's view of what we're doing in the factories, the, the, the conversations we're having with manufacturers. It's gonna be a what I feel like an insightful experience, not just for myself and for, for Danny and for Leo, but for you guys as well. We wanna continue to um, keep you guys involved in the growth of 245, man. 2019, big things coming. Here's Leo. Hello, hello, <laughs> welcome to Canada. <laughs> All right, let's go party. You, yeah, you guys are on party. I have some friends out here in Toronto from uh, from touring out here and stuff. I had a few people up, but man, it's two o'clock in the morning, so we're kind of stuck. This place makes you appreciate Tampa weather. Thank you, Florida. Gotta be the after party spot. Way bigger than I expected. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Like, I wouldn't be able to do this lifestyle right here with all the snow and, and having to plow it and the ice. I would hit that, I would hit the wall over here, everything. I saw you get so close to that one. Oh, really? oh, oh my head's about to my head's about to touch the ceiling. Yeah, your head's gonna hit that. Oh my gosh. Parking in Toronto. Yo, so this is the next morning. Just woke up in Toronto. Got a little bit of time. Before we get to our flight this is us on our way to the airport now these houses leo was telling us are like two million three million dollars and what they do is they they'll buy them for like 1.5 tear them down and build up more modern homes because they're so most of them are really really old but real estate is booming in toronto right now so and then he showed us his school his son goes to this school it's like forty thousand dollars a year but he got a scholarship to go so i thought that was pretty cool it's one of the best schools i believe in canada so that was cool to hear about and you know, just kind of learning his neighborhood in Toronto. It's pretty dope. But again, the snow, no bueno. And there's like, there's parts of like Toronto, like this right here reminds me of like New York, New York City, like Queens or something, you know? Just a little bit, just a little bit. And then like these trucks right here are full of salt. And I guess that's to melt the snow. All right, so we got to about five o'clock in the morning till we knocked out. We slept till 8.30 and now we're back. 
at the airport on this 14 hour flight to China, to Shanghai. Danny told me he upgraded the seats. I'm gonna tell you right now on this trip, one of the toughest things for me is gonna be keeping up with my diet because really slim pickings and the food is just, it's, it's out there. So you'll see a lot of that in the next few vlogs. I guess you'll see some interesting stuff. And like this, so this flight was, so the first flight was like four or five hours and this flight was 15 hours straight on the airplane. And we slept, mo I slept most of it, but like at least six or seven hours of it, I was awake trying to play Sudoku, trying to watch movies and just kill time. But after a while, it's like, you just, the last 30 minutes, you just can't wait to get out the plane, so. Now, this is what I'm gonna tell you. China, when, if you are somebody that likes their space, trying to get in there, bro. Trying to get into the, that sardine can. China, China is not the place for that. Like, there's literally no space. People don't care about like if there's any space to squeeze in, they're gonna squeeze in. And you'll see, you'll see here. I do kind of like a quick uh, jump cuts. This is when I first get on the bus, and then you can see there's a lot of space, and all of a sudden, people start coming in, and before you know it. People are almost sitting on your lap. It's so tight. I couldn't even turn my camera right here because there was people literally on top of me. And then when it comes to like, like there is no, no, go ahead, you go first. Nah, they cutting you off. They'll come from behind you, try to jump in front of you. Don't try to like, there's no such thing as a line in China. Yo, if you guys thought it was cutthroat in New York, come to China, it's cutthroat. They cut you in line like, what? Everything feel like Black Friday. Everything. <laughs> Don't wear nice sneakers here. Everybody's stepping on them. This line. Leo, we're gonna be here a while, bro. It will be for sure. Finally. Oh my goodness. Bro, hour and a half. From the time we got off, we landed, or from the time we got off the plane to again through customs. <laughs> And now we gotta go get our bags. Just when we thought we was done with this. Another big line. All right, we're gonna take the high speed um, train. We'll be meeting up with a friend of ours and uh, move from there. You guys are gonna see a lot of interesting food this week. Every step you take, somebody asks you for a sexy. Oops, yeah. Say it right there, we went to that thing, to the metro. I know what you're thinking, and no, McDonald's and Starbucks are not the same as being at home. The next vlog, you'll see what I'm talking about. I buy something at Starbucks and it's completely different. Now this right here, like, it's important to pack snacks and bring it with you. These are like really, really good um, beef jerkies. They're made of like ostrich and like, and like, like all kinds of different meats that are like packed with protein. Um, and it's really lean so I packed a whole bunch of those and I packed protein powder and I packed my pre-workout and I keep it with me. Now this train right here, this is their high speed trains. Check how fast we go. We get all the way to 300 kilometers. Now there's a part right here, watch this train just pass right by us. You could imagine that's two trains going at 300 miles per hour the opposite direction. So I thought that was pretty cool to show you guys. And literally it was like a 12 minute train ride. I don't know how many miles we traveled, but it was, it was quick. So just to put this part into context, 
Earlier, Danny decided to make a chain link of the neck pillows and put it on my book bag. So I was able to sneak in and put it on his book bag. And when he noticed it, I don't know, the reaction was priceless to me. I like it. <laughs> that is Yang, that is our friend. The Chinese friend is going to be with us most of the trip, right? Entire trip. The entire trip. Not leave us. He would not leave our side as Yang right there. The blue. Okay, so. Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> Alright, now we're getting some love, some hospitality. Wow. Yeah. Hey, so you guys, yeah. Yeah. You still have the invoice, so. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how you feeling? You tired or you rested? Feel good? Good, good, good. So some guys came in like right after us. I think we're good. And that was literally my phone. You can see how close, how tight we were in the elevator. <laughs> people were in that tiny little elevator. Oh, they're still in there. And then right here, like, this is like lack of space. His trunk hit that, um, that thing that Danny was trying to cover up, or was trying to. All right, so now we're on the way to the fake market. It's literally called the fake market? The fake market, yeah. Sometimes they don't want to do business with Chinese. They, they might get caught by the undercover policeman. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I would try, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. So, and there is another one yeah. near Nanjing Road. We can also try it. Okay. That one. Okay. Yeah. So we have to set up. Alright, can you hear me? Can you hear me through the phones? Yeah. I cannot hear you. And this is underground. Look at this. This is like turkey neck and chicken feet. See what I'm saying? Like, come on. How you eat out here? But this is underground. This is where the fake, one of the fake markets are. And that's just pretty much fake products. So we're on our way. Look at this. You see Supreme. So look for Rolexes and shit? <laughs> yeah, Rolexes. They got Galaxy tabs. You got a legit setup right there. Alright. We the off white. So Danny's speaking Portuguese. So before you guys see this clip, I want to put it into context. When you go to these markets, you know they don't really like to sell to people who are from there because people who are from there they know the real prices. There's online markets, and like for example, the AirPods that Danny's gonna try to get, you could get for like ten bucks US. And right off the bat, he was trying to sell it to us for like triple the amount. I think they're like, I, I, um, so for every 100, 100 um, RMB, it's uh, six, $6.70 US. So because we don't look like we're from there, they assume that we're, we're, we don't know the real prices for it. And so he's still making a really good profit if we paid him 10 bucks for it, where right off the bat, he was trying to get like $30 from us. So don't feel bad for them. We're just, we're, they're trying to get over on us. We're smarter than that and Danny's negotiating Honestly, Danny offered too much for the product when he, when he, with the price that he's gonna um, counter him. Cause well, you'll see what I'm talking about. And how much you want? I give you three hundred. Okay. Three hundred. Okay. Hundred? No, no, no. Hundred no? for this one. This one. Yeah. 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 Okay. How much a bucket? No. No, I think hundred. Okay, we'll keep looking. Two hundred fifty. No. Okay. Thank maximum, you. maximum, maximum, maximum. No, um... Maximum, maximum, maximum. 110. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, make, make this price, okay. How much? Okay. No, no, no. Okay, which is last, last finish. Last, last, I show you, this, I show you this the best quality for you. You give me the price is very low, right? No, no, one, one... You want it. Hmm? You want it? No. For 15 bucks? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll take a middle, okay. We'll come back, we'll come okay, back. Okay, which is maximum, maximum? No, one time, one time. Yeah, no, no. Little more, little more. Okay, 
can do it. Okay, okay, okay. So go mine for factories and tools and products and that I mentioned Yeezys for 25 bucks. So look, it's cost and it's the ease that we can do it with. There's a the barrier of entrance for a new product is minimal in reality. The real problem is going out and finding a the product you want, the factory you want to make it happen. So the way we do it is pretty basic. We pick up we we try So this is much nicer than the hotels that we got the first time we came. If you never saw those vlogs, go check out those vlogs. They're, they're still there, they're on the YouTube channel. We got a workstation up here. Nice big TV. This is pretty nice. Okay. This is dinner. Leo's eating dinner with me. This. I'm gonna hit the gym after this, then take a shower, go to bed, and then tomorrow we're gonna hit the factories. Now, before we end this vlog, I do want to tell you guys on this trip, we're literally recording everything. We have a crazy microphone and camera set up, and we're going to create an online course that teaches you from the beginning to the end how to source and create your own products. Like, we're literally going to bring you into um, the factories into negotiate into the, the offices when we start negotiating prices we're going to tell you the do's and don'ts the mistakes that we've made over the last few years like this is some really crazy um, content that we're putting together so I'm super excited about that online course um, that's going to probably be the next one that follows up what, um, the course that I've already put together foundations and the value is there with foundations so you can imagine what kind of value we're going to do here we're literally not we're not just going to be sitting in an office telling you guys um, you know tips and tricks over a whiteboard we're literally <laughs> we're, we're here in China making this online course so look out for that guys once it's you know once it's done I'll definitely announce it and share it with you guys if you're interested um, definitely let me know in the comments below what you think about that and what are some things you would like to see in that online course appreciate y'all see you in the next vlog